Hello and welcome to this video about the origins of coffee. Coffee is one of the most widely consumed beverages in the world, but where did it come from? In this video, we'll explore the early cultivation and trade of coffee beans, and how coffee culture has developed around the world. The Origins of Coffee The origin of coffee is believed to be in the highlands of Ethiopia, where coffee plants grew wild. According to legend, a goat herder named Kaldi discovered the energizing effects of coffee when he noticed his goats becoming more lively after eating the berries from a certain plant. From there, coffee cultivation spread to other parts of Africa, including Sudan and Egypt, where it was first traded. By the 16th century, coffee had made its way to the Middle East and Europe, where it quickly gained popularity. The Rise of Coffee Culture in Europe In the 17th and 18th centuries, coffeehouses began to spring up throughout Europe. These establishments quickly became popular meeting places for intellectuals and artists, who would gather to discuss ideas and share their work over a cup of coffee. Coffee houses became so popular that they were sometimes referred to as penny universities, because for the price of a cup of coffee, one could engage in lively intellectual discussions and debates. Coffee in the Americas Coffee was introduced to the Americas in the 18th century, when European colonizers brought coffee plants to the Caribbean and South America. By the 19th century, Brazil had become the world's largest coffee producer, thanks to its ideal growing conditions and the use of slave labor. Coffee became a major commodity in the Americas, and its production and trade were closely tied to the development of colonial economies. The Specialty Coffee Movement In recent years, there has been a growing interest in specialty coffee. This movement emphasizes the quality and unique flavor profiles of coffee beans, and it has led to a greater appreciation for the art and science of coffee brewing. Specialty coffee shops and cafes have become popular meeting places for people interested in exploring the many different types of coffee available and the industry has seen a rise in small, independent coffee roasters and growers. Coffee and Sustainability As coffee has grown in popularity, there has been increasing concern about the social and environmental impact of the industry. Many coffee farms are located in developing countries where labor laws are lax, and the use of pesticides and other chemicals can harm both workers and the environment. In response, there has been a growing movement towards sustainable and ethically sourced coffee. Many specialty coffee roasters and growers are working to ensure that their beans are produced in a responsible manner with fair wages paid to workers and environmentally friendly growing practices used. The Future of Coffee As we look to the future, it's clear that coffee will continue to be a beloved beverage enjoyed by people all over the world. The industry will likely continue to evolve and adapt to changing tastes and trends, with a greater emphasis on sustainability, unique flavor profiles, and new brewing methods. Fun Facts About Coffee Before we end this video, let's share some fun facts about coffee. Coffee is the second most traded commodity in the world, after petroleum. Brazil is the largest coffee producer in the world, followed by Vietnam and Colombia. 
coffee beans are actually the seeds of a fruit called a coffee cherry. The world's most expensive coffee is made from beans that have been eaten and excreted by a type of Asian civet cat. The caffeine in coffee is a natural pesticide that helps protect the coffee plant from insects. Espresso, a popular way of brewing coffee, originated in Italy in the early 20th century. The first coffee break in the United States was taken by workers in a New York City office in 1902. Coffee is one of the most commonly consumed beverages in the world, with an estimated 2.25 billion cups consumed every day. How to brew a good cup of coffee Now that we've learned about the history of coffee, let's end this video by sharing some tips on how to brew a good cup of coffee. Start with good beans. Look for high quality, fresh beans that have been roasted recently. Grind your beans. Grind your beans just before brewing to ensure maximum flavor and aroma. Choose the right brewing method. There are many ways to brew coffee, from pour over to French press to espresso. Choose the method that suits your taste and equipment. Use the right water temperature. Water that is too hot can burn the coffee, while water that is too cool can result in a weak brew. Aim for a temperature between 195 degrees Fahrenheit and 205 degrees Fahrenheit. Experiment with ratios. The ideal ratio of coffee to water depends on your personal taste and brewing method. Start with a 116 ratio of coffee to water, and adjust as needed. Enjoy your coffee. Once your coffee is brewed, sit back, relax, and enjoy the delicious flavors and aromas. In conclusion, the history of coffee is a fascinating story that has spanned centuries and cultures. From its origins in Ethiopia to its rise as a major commodity in the Americas, coffee has had a significant impact on the world. As the industry continues to evolve, there is a growing emphasis on sustainability and responsible production, as well as a greater appreciation for the unique flavors and characteristics of different types of coffee. We hope you've enjoyed learning about the origins of coffee and how coffee culture has developed around the world. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.